So we Googled this area, I should say up near Erie, and we found a thrift store located, what was it called? It's in Erie County. It's called Interstate Antique Shop, and the town is called... It's Northeast. A Oh, I thought it was a number. Northeast <laughs> is what it was. And, Off uh, of Interstate 90. Never been here before, so don't you just love those days that you just take a random trip and you walk straight in the door and you find a beautiful piece of Murano glass. Holy smokes. This place was high... Friends, this channel is powered by Junk Monkey Paint, which is our very own brand of paint that we, me and Matt, created together to flip our thrift store finds for resale. Great for all kinds of projects that just need some extra love. Grab a brush, go bananas. High-end antiques and collectibles. It was beautiful in here. So we got to meet the owner who was working here today. Oh, I'm... You know, I have to take a look at this because I'm all about the shabby chippy. That's the kind of looks that I like to get now with paint. But I'm sure if I actually looked on the tag, that thing was probably old because everything in here was old. But the gentleman who owned this business, he said that he's been doing antiques, antique cleanouts of houses for, what, 30 years? I think he yeah. said, right? Like, yeah, this was what he did, what he did his entire life. Look Check at that. Check that bowl out. That's or maybe I shouldn't crazy. say that. I don't know if he did it his entire life, but I'd 30 years he, is I a life, I would say right? he, he'd done it pretty much his entire life. <laughs> That's a lifetime. Yeah. Matt always loved these domes. Yeah. What are they called? There's Display a name on them. Domes. And you did end up picking one up here, right? Yeah. In fact, that one in the back, the With tall the mirror, one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. $28. That's actually a very good price for these. I've always wanted one, and I will definitely be back for more. Cool. And those little ones are super cute too. So if there's a vlog back here where you might remember us receiving um, a little itty bitty Dobby <laughs> figurine. And I'm trying to convince Matt that that's the perfect little place for Dobby to live. If you remember the life-size Dobby that didn't arrive, instead we got the miniature. Yeah, that was a whole other vlog. Okay, I found this. I loved it. It was $10. All of these little box figurines, they were all $10. And I really like this old... Made in Japan, elephant one. I thought it was cute. I love the crackle on it, the age showing. So I'm thinking some elephant collector is going to love it. So I did take that home today. Nice uh, hall tree here. Yeah, we do like our hall trees. Too bad we had just got one. We did, <laughs> right? Well, it's not too bad. Our friend gave us one. They were changing out their decor. You might have also well, seen us decorate with our thrift finds on it recently. I'm just saying too bad for that hall tree. I know, right? It was a nice one. <laughs> it had to stay there. What are these? That looks like cobalt slag glass. B-U-I-R glass? Does that it's make sense? It's burr. I think burr, burr glass, Never right? Never heard of it. What it is is just slag glass that they've thrown out, right? And it might have been raining and the water hit it and it created all those pot air pockets and things like mm, that. So kind of like he wrote it and did yeah, good stuff? Yeah, it looks like lava rock, right? We huh. used to find it. This is a cool little pheasant mount. This is a theme. We're seeing lots of those. Okay, I really like this couch. Mid-century modern. I could live with a mustard couch like this. That is so 19, late and drink 50s. drink my and... cocktails. I did also see this. Probably my Mex Mexican pottery and this, you know, that's why I'm like, I have everything. I like it all. But anyway, that was, I was drawn to that. But yeah, what do you think of that yellow, is it a sectional? Would yeah, what yeah. It would be? it's a mid-century modern section, sectional. Yep. Eat your heart out, Frank Lloyd Wright. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, they had all these different sections, and I could tell that it was somewhat themed in the different areas you'll see as we go through here. And a lot of the tags, oh, I thought somebody was watching me. Those were cool. If I could carve, I would carve birds. But yeah, the tag showed where uh, they may have been picked from. This was carnival glass. I've never seen a cowboy hat carnival glass. Well, now you have, and there it is. <laughs> it was fantastic. I loved that. that. Little... And this was cool. The totem, the Northwest Indian totem. Yeah. yeah. I was admiring all the woodwork on the pieces through here. They just don't make furniture like this anymore. No, this was a gorgeous piece. Oh, I would not have painted it. I was just admiring all the woodcuts that were into it. It was beautiful. I saw this, and at first I'm like, oh, that has to be an, uh, like a high-end piece of glass. And it was, I think, 200 A lot of the glass pieces that I was drawn to, I must just have expensive taste. <laughs> I like the Murano glass. And I've learned that Murano is high, you know, hot, good, like high-quality craftsmanship. Yeah. A lot of it is done with the vivid colors and and a lot of times, they actually have real gold and real silver specks into it. Well, a lot of pieces, too, here are waiting for the right buyer to come along. Yes, yeah. If you were a collector and you just see something you love, you'd probably grab it. This was all kinds of 
old wooden hairbrushes bowls, and bowls and vanity objects. pieces. Yeah, I thought that bird box was really. And cool. I don't know what that weird mask was there. And that's <laughs> that's a that's a ribbit frog. An old frog. Rib- yep. yep. Santa Claus. We all know Santa. So I guess this was an old. Let's see, nineteen forties, twenty eight dollars. If you love vintage Christmas, that could be the piece that you love, you know? Mm-hmm. These are for the tin collectors. It says Santa Tins. Oh, I didn't see the dates on there. I do like studying the tags when I'm out and about because if you want to write your own tags, it helps you describe. Like, I have no clue what that is. That's a bowling set. That's what I thought, but look. What does it say? It Something says, clubs. Um, I don't think. Because those are tall. Okay. I, I think they're like bowling pins for something i don't know we'll have to look it up if anybody knows let us know mystery yeah. object of the video <laughs> so this here was no mystery matt i don't know if you saw this because you were up ahead of me but i okay i'm going to need this lamp to go with my sectional mustard couch i know it might have had a few little are you are you putting that in your other house that i don't know about <laughs> that is a gorgeous lamp like that's the lamp of my dreams right there Wow. Yeah. I you don't like that one. Just lamp? when you think you know somebody after twenty some years. I loved it. Now I did pick hey, up a fish. Hey, fishy fish. She's pretty cool. Yep, an old painted wooden fish, carved fish. Super cool. Look at all the just the age and right. I just love that. This was I don't know, I think that was just like a uh, handmade piece of art. Now this <laughs> right here is something in itself. A- acrylic toilet bowl. Okay, can it Okay, yeah. The, I was just like, whoa. I've seen these before. I remember seeing them advertised before. <laughs> but why would you want to see through your toilet seat? I don't know. I don't know. I don't There's know. the puffer fish to go with me. that. That's for your tiki bar experience at your place, right? I'm still t- stuck on the toilet seat. <laughs> I didn't this realize. This is the fishy section. Yeah, I yeah. didn't realize this was the fish yeah. section. But uh, I remember, actually, as a fish lover, truth be told, that I remember I wanted the shower curtain. I wanted the toilet seat. I wanted it all because mm. when you want a fish-themed bathroom, you got to have it all. Yeah, all water, ocean, nice theme. Nice mosaic yep. there. So we pan over. There's just so much to see here. It's like I know you're probably seeing stuff that you didn't see yeah. when you were there when you watch it back. I'm seeing video. a lot of I stuff. I love that there. painting, mm-hmm. moody paintings. There was a lot of original art here today. I didn't recognize any of the names, but look at that. Those are beautiful pieces. Now I loved this mixed media piece. I think it was called, and but I did not recognize the artist. Does anybody recognize it? It says it was from. Um, New York. Did you see what year that was? Was uh, it 60s or 70s or something? I don't know. I can't remember. Definitely looks like that uh, 65 to 75 era range there. This was like a primitive, let's see, folk painted table with a rooster. And this you is, probably like this, do you? This yeah, I do. The crane. Yeah, I like the Japanese lacquer and yep. things like that. And I like the duck. <laughs> with some, wow. Is that called, is that a rug hook? Hooked piece, rug hooking. Yeah, I think it's a rug hook. I think that's what that is. Yeah, somebody made their little ducky duck. These are all cool little pieces here. What was this? Was that a creamer? Art pottery. I can't read it. Sugar but, bowl cream. No, oh, they're candle holders. Numbers. Of course, I was drawn to them. <laughs> I didn't even see. Did you see that dragon I did. that was next to it? Yeah. I missed that when I was are there. Are these Roseville here? I think they, so. Yeah. So. I think they were. This is a panther, I think. Rawr. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Rawr. What would that be? What would you put in there? Uh, I think Too big it was for like, toothpicks? Yeah, I think it was like a uh, flower holder. Oh, look. So this was a prop from Halloween Horror Nights down in Universal Studios, Orlando. So this was probably used a few years ago uh, down there for one of their haunted houses or themed events. I think I get a little bit closer to it in the set because I'm behind a bench right, right here, and I'm just like, Whoa! Whoa! Now I have a dream to go to Roswell. <laughs> I just want you to know that we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna take this thrifting show on the road. So 1970s. Oh, it says alien movie prop. See, that's I totally missed that. You were talking to the gentleman. Yeah, and I asked. I don't him think if it, you got the details. Well, he had it just said Universal on top, so I assumed it was Halloween Horror Nights, right? Mm. So because that actual alien looked. We just came back from... It looks, looks, looked a bit newer than what it was listed for. No, did we see... Yeah, we were down there for yeah. Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah, I hit two down the, in, uh, uh, yeah. Florida. Yeah, they had two haunted houses We were this talking year. about that, yeah. And the best haunted house was actually the store, the haunted Horror Night store, because of the way it was all themed out, like Beetlejuice. 
Yeah. I did a vlog on that. It's here on the channel. And there's always a clown. Right. Got to throw a clown in the mix, right? But yeah, I have a dream of traveling to... Um, Roswell, Roswell, New Mexico. Roswell, New Mexico. New Me I've been watching some vlogs on that area. Do you live down that way? I want to get down there and visit. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I have a dream of, you know, hitting the road and doing thrifting all along the way and traveling all over this beautiful country. So tell me if you, you know would watch a vlog about that. Would be, that. Right? There is no problem. There is a problem. I didn't want to hear it. The van would be totally full. We We'd just have stop no at place to, We have no place to sleep. Listen, we <laughs> sleep. Who needs to sleep? We would stop at every post office along the way, right? Yeah, mail it'd it be back. fun. Yeah, wouldn't that be so fun? Anyway, I'm just putting it out there. I that's, think that would be a whole funny. lot of fun. All the stuff you'd find in different areas. One of these days, I want to own some bubbly glass like that, some thick, chunky glass. I think that's called Controlled Bubbles. There's a name oh, on it. Oh, doll you guys parts. Told me. Awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and a jar of doll parts. Ooh, check out that vase back there. The uh, green kind of custardy uranium glass. Oh, I never saw that. I bet you that would have glowed up. Oh, I bet you that would have been nice. Yes. That would have really glowed. I you was know what? Say, Go I'm ahead. wondering. I want to do an experiment. I want to get an old Geiger counter that reads radioactivity, mm -hmm. and take it to uranium glass to see if there's any residual rate, low grade radioactivity. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious. Yeah, I'm sure we could find a place to, you know, be like, hey, can we come to your antique shop and do some fun little uh, experiments? These Those were awesome. Oh yes, yeah. those are beautiful. Now everybody knows that I am a closet geek. <laughs> They probably already figured the out the weird this stuff now. that I think of. Okay, now this is a book that I would read, Poppy, Poppy Odd, Odd and the and Freckled, Freckled Goldfish. Goldfish. I'm telling you, with a name like that, I just want the book. That's an awesome band name. Wouldn't that be good? Poppy Odd. Yeah, I, I love that whole, yeah, those all those words put together. So here's Matt um, grabbing his. And what I, do you call that thing? And me with my display little dome. elephant display yep. dome. And yeah, so great day just hunting and picking through this old shop. So thanks guys for watching and we'll be back again tomorrow.